Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is Captain Cowboy here with another video of Guns of Glory. And ladies and gentlemen, this is probably my last Guns of Glory video ever. And with this video, you know, as I should do and as I want to do, you know, this is my channel. I have, you know, the freedom to choose what I make my videos about. I'm going to give you reasons why I am leaving Guns of Glory. So, you know, th this isn't anything new. This isn't anything that would be surprising to you. But I want to put it all, combine all my grievances into one basic video for you. So, my number one grievance about this game and why I'm leaving it. I am bored. I played King of Avalon, and then I played Guns of Glory. Every other week, I have KVK. Uh, the other weekend, I've got Kill Event. And I've also got Ultimate Alliance Campaign. I played Ultimate Alliance Campaign about, you know, ten times. I'd say after the second time, I had enough of it. That's just me, though. That is my honest opinion. I had enough. Um, I never truly enjoyed the Red Guard Raid and the version of that in King of Avalon. It seemed more of a chore than anything. It just seemed like, all right, this is something I have to do so that, you know, my free-to-play can get some rewards. Kingdom Threat, also another chore, but amazing rewards. So I enjoyed that. The rest of the gold event sucked, honestly. It wasn't worth my time. Uh, the Night Siege I did once, and I really disliked how involving it was. Um, that's a very long event. That requires pretty much non-stop attention. The New World was fire is like Firelands, and that has some pretty good rewards. It's all about strategy, but it's less about strategy and more about power, honestly. Um, so it gets the rich richer and the poor poor and that's my honest opinion about that ultimate alliance campaign it just it's it's repetitive it's a huge gold sink with zero benefit to it um i'd much rather do kill events that had better rewards than ultimate alliance campaign and i just got bored of it that just that's my honest opinion about it um the crown invasion kvk was torture eight hours to a full day um I enjoyed it at first in King of Avalon, and I enjoyed the first couple in Guns of Glory as well, but eventually it just became a chore, and I had to cancel essentially all of my plans for the entire Saturday of the weekend and just do KVK, wake up super early, and spend all morning doing it. And quite honestly, I was tired of doing that. I have other things I want to do in life, and it just never worked out for me. But this is, again why I decided to quit it. Musketeers for it, I'm, I'm not going to talk about it because it's just so recent. I was pretty much done with the game before that even came out. Um, so that's some of the events that really made me bored with this game. Now, other things that really drove me to quit this game was the lack of care fun plus had. If I'm spending $30,000 in each of your video games and you don't even have the courtesy to send me like a half decent human response like I couldn't get anything more than a freaking automated message like honestly really now how this compares to Iron Throne Iron Throne if you hit a certain dollar amount I don't know what this dollar amount is but you get this thing called VVIP where you have a personal hotline so when I go to like my chat box I open up my chat box and I've got these four tabs, I would have a fifth tab. And this fifth tab would have me a personal, private, c customer service, concierge service. Whatever I need, whatever questions I have, I have someone there on the other line 24-7. And there's two versions of it. I'm not sure what it all is or how to get it. Um, it's automatically given to you once you hit a do certain dollar amount. But that's amazing. You can't really compete with that. And... I just, not even like that should be the standard that I'm looking for. And just that fun plus lacks severely. And like, I'm really tired of that. Every single video, every single time I play this game, I just look at this all the time. And they just never fix it. Just little things like that that really bother me. More things that bother me, well, another one of my largest grievances is 
the way that the Guns of Glory update schedule is, and it literally just got 10 times worse. It used to be once a month we're going to give you a new update. It was super easy to, you know, take a look at and like, okay, I know we're going to have a lucky draw here. I'm going to do my spending here. But next month, everything that I'm buying this month is going to be almost half price. Or it is going to be half price. Or it's going to be less than half price. Like, why do I want to waste my money and my time playing this game if everything I buy is going to be so much cheaper later on? I just don't understand it. So... That, that, that was another one of my largest issues that I had with this game, is I just don't understand it. You know, like, why am I going to have to go through all this if, you know, this is what it's going to give me? So, it was just confusing, because, like, no matter what you do, it's just never enough, unless you're, like, a heavy, heavy spender. So it's like, what is the benefit in spending if everything you do is just worthless in the end? And, you know, more with that, it's just... Now they're speeding up the rate at which they are doing these updates. And you just can't really compete with this. So, you know, that that's another issue. And it just... There's so much more. The mechanics make no sense anymore. Like, when I played King of Avalon, and when I transferred over here at the beginning, I made some really good videos and content, but then it just got to the point where I don't understand. These, this does not make sense. At all. One bit. So, just the mechanics used to be, like, cut and dry, like, okay, well, let me pull up a, a, uh, that's a whole lot of defeats. Like, these mechanics, it's just like, People send me screenshots all the time. They're like, I had better stats than this guy. I had better troop formation than this guy. Why did I lose? I, I can't tell you why you lost. If your stats are better and you're sending a better troop formation, there should be zero reason as to why you lose a battle. But yet, it happened all the time. Where these people would come to me and they would just be like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Like... I've spent all this money on this game. I have everything that I need to have. I'm stronger than my opponent, but yet I'm still losing every time. And it's equal 1v1 marches. It's not like this guy is attacking 10 million troops at home, and he doesn't understand why those 10 million troops won't just turn over and die. This guy is sending 200k troops against 200k troops with much better stats and a better breakup of troops. And he's still losing. They killed the mechanics in this game. They killed the update schedule. The update schedule should never have followed King of Avalon. They should have followed King of Avalon's update schedule exactly. But here's the deal. Fun Plus and Guns of Glory make more money if you download the game, spend a little bit, and then quit than if you were to download the game, spend a lot of money, and stick around for the long haul. They make more money from just the download and maybe a quick purchase or two than they do in the long haul. This game is turning over so much money, and they have three reskins of the game that they don't care. They got you baited in. They're making a ton of money, and their lack of customer support will just force you to keep spending because you can't solve your issues. What are you going to do? Refund? Now you can't buy anything. Like, this, they, these communists care more about the money, and they're doing well with it. Now, here's why I'm going to Iron Throne. So, I'm going to Iron Throne, and I'm leaving this behind because Iron Throne has everything that I've wanted from Guns of Glory and King of Avalon, and they fixed it. The developers care about the players. They care about the free-to-play, where there's actually events where free-to-play can go in and compete and win first place every time. Where no matter what stats I have or how much money I spent, I can't beat the free-to-play because they have a better strategy in doing the event than me. Then they have events where it sponsors, you know, the, the pay-to-win, and their awards from all these are amazing. It's not like a waste of my time. 
I could literally make my account better. My buddy who's free to play can make his account so much better. There's this event going on right now that can give you literally the second best slotting sl uh, gear and slot for free. And just giving it to you for free. Because they care. Because they listen to your complaints and they fix the game accordingly. People complain that they want the level 30 gear compared to the level 40 gear stronger. So that free to play who do that level 30 gear can actually compete and survive on defense. And they listened and they did it. And now it's the new meta. And everyone who buys that level 40 gear, they're not dropping a lot of money in order to do so. I have plus 7 um, of of out of 15, which is the total enhancement level, the best in slot infantry gear. And my gear cost me $400 total. And I've got plus 7. I'm halfway to max out. Now, if I want to max it out, it would probably cost me another $90 and I just a little bit of time. Like, this game seriously cares. It's The paywall is so much higher. You don't have to spend as much money in this game. Like, they don't update and make your account worthless every month. They do updates. They do new patches. But they're not changing the stats. They're not releasing new things. They're, they might release, like, new events. And, like, you know, they're trying to make the game more fun. There's, like, 20 different events out there. Like, people complain, like, this game is so time-consuming, and there's so much more content in it. You don't have to do everything. You find what you like to do, and you do the shit out of it. And you'll have a lot of fun doing that. I guarantee it. The game is just so much better than Iron Throne. Literally everything than Guns of Glory. Iron Throne is so much better. And if you hit me up in line or Discord, I mean, I, I can hook you up with some rewards straight from the developers. They're like, well, we want to give these Guns of Glory people a home. We want to give them somewhere new that they can come play. But we don't want them to feel, like, bogged down and, like, we want to give them some accomplishments and reward them for playing. They could be free to play. They could be paid when we don't care. We want them. So we ha we're running a play test. And if you complete the play test, all you got to do is hit Sedell 22. If you hit the play test... You get rewarded. And they just want your information. They want your feedback. That's all they want. You don't even have to give it to them. They just want it. They give you that option. And I have that opportunity to give you that. And you get rewarded really heavily for doing so. So if you want that, hit me up in line. Hit me up in Discord. I will personally send you that link. And I'll keep in touch with you. If you do that play test you will have in order to get into the playtest you have to reach out to me privately and if you do that well you'll have your my one to one contact you can literally contact me any point any time with any questions you might have about Iron Throne you, Guns of Glory I don't care either one I would be more than happy to help you all because that's why I started this community I started this community because I wanted to help people learn how to play the game I wanted people to have fun playing the game and watch me playing the game and I feel like I'm going to have a better opportunity doing that in Iron Throne than I will in Guns of Glory. So I'm moving on. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching this video. This is Camp Cowboy signing off for the final time in Guns of Glory. I had a lot of fun with you all. I will, you know, make some clips of my combat videos. And I've got a couple more videos that I want to share with you all. But this is my last true content for Guns of Glory and I urge you all continue that strike and just leave it leave the game They, the game is spiraling out of control get out while you can if you're new in a new kingdom stop your spending it's just it's, it's a money sink and I regret spending in this game I truly do I don't feel like I got enough enjoyment out of this game but that's just me well Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. This is Camp Cowboy. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos or want to see some of the Iron Throne playlist, go ahead and hit that subscribe button in the middle of your screen. This is Camp Cowboy signing off. We don't have swag here to do some elevator music for you all, but he is with us in our thoughts and prayers while he sleeps on this beautiful morning. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.